I really truly believe that people should be together at least a couple times a week. Now, you have a broad team, you, you personally, your team is all over the place, so flying people in isn't gonna happen, but you know, every two days, a couple days, I get that. But for, for people that have teams where they're living in the same city, they should come in a couple of days a week and use that time to collaborate. And by the way, they should use it. They should be in on the same days. So I go in on a Tuesday, you go on a Wednesday and I'm like, damn it. I wanted to see Merrill, you know, and Merrill comes in on the, you know, and I wanted to see Mark. And so it has to be so that everybody knows what the days are. And then that time is used for collaboration and meetings and just casual conversations. And then you go back off and you do your work. There's, so that's a big component of it. The other component of this is that, and we talked about this at the beginning of the conversation, which is that, uh, and I, Marcus Buckingham said it first, um, and now Gallup is confirming it, but that your span of control as a manager is defined by the number of people that you can have a meaningful conversation with once a week. And that doesn't mean, well, I got too busy, so I skipped it for the last couple of weeks, but I'll catch up with Meryl. No, it means routinely connecting with Meryl every single week and having a meaningful conversation. So this is the, uh, the I won't call it an artificial, but I'll, I'll call it an alternative form of connection, where at least you know. So if I'm working for you and you set up a regular meeting with me and you call me and we have this meeting every week, I'm connecting with you. You know what's going on with me. You know what's ha what's happening in my life. You know what I'm doing in my projects, but we're also just being Mark and Merrill. And that is the big component that people miss, you know, those small little interactions. There's actually science that shows that the micro connections that we have. So you, let's say you're going into the office and you go to work and you're coming home and you're like, oh, got to go to Whole Foods, pick up some dinner. I got to go to the dry cleaners and I got to go to the shoe repair. So in a course of an hour, you're going to see three, four or five people and you're going to have these interactions. They prove to have great impact on us. We don't, we don't realize it, but it, even if you don't even know, you'll never see the clerk, you'll never see the, any of these people again, or you see them infrequently. There's just something about the interaction. So we need that and in work, I just think it's the way to keep a, co a team cohesive is when they're together.